Coming off of a big weekend in the sport of boxing, uh, it is now time to figure out what is next. After Artur Beterbiev picks up a win over Dmitry Bivol, uh, it was a unanimous decision that people got very frustrated by and kind of hated. So, um, I feel like not enough has been said, and on this show, the, the show has been guilty of it as well, not enough has been said about how well Artur Beterbiev did fight in this one. I, I focused on the scoring and all of that, but I do think you have to commend Better Biev for going out and getting the win in the biggest fight of his career. Until what is next for him now. I I am now contradicting a what uh, fights to make one that we did last month. Because I have just accepted that Canelo against David Benavidez probably isn't going to happen. And at least it's not going to happen in May. So, that leaves both of them open, in my opinion. And thusly, I think the next fight for Artur Beterbiev, the now undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world, is against Canelo, Saul Alvarez. I, Canelo wants that move up at one, uh, at light heavyweight. That is the one thing that he has kind of failed at in the last little while. The other one was fighting Floyd Mayweather. I don't think you're getting that one back at this point. <laughs> so this is the, the one that he can kind of... Um, th th this is the one that he can kind of get on track. Th this is the one that he can get back. It's not against Bivol, and maybe, maybe Bivol is just that, that's the one stuck in his mind. And so that's the only thing he wants to fight. It's not necessarily, um, kind of accomplishing this feat up at 174 pounds. It is Bivol specifically. That is the one. But I, I think still, for me, the next fight for Beterbiev is Canelo. Um, I, I don't know if there's anyone at light heavyweight. Like, I don't know... When you're the undisputed champ, obviously there's no upward mobility there as um, as someone in this weight class. So if you wanted to move up to cruiserweight, like maybe you could do something there. Um, and honestly, that wasn't something I looked into, but that would be interesting, I think, maybe. Um, but I, I do think that it'll be Canelo next. Hopefully not for the undisputed championship with Canelo coming off of a loss in this division. And so if you wanted to be a, a boxing purist and kind of switch it, I, I, I would not have any issue for you. But... I think that while I would love for the championships to be the things that mean the most here um, and worthiness of championship opponent and that sort of a thing, I think we can all agree that's not it. And so that this is the biggest fight that um, Better Biev can have when you are coming off of that win. Um, I I think that this that, that is the one that you can kind of like know that this is that this is the biggest fight for me money-wise. Does he deserve it? In this division, probably not. But I have just unified all these belts. So, give me a shot at it. Let's get it done. Um, th that would be... Th that that would be, I, I think, the thing that you really want to, to, to kind of go with. Um, and so, that leaves Bivol without a dance partner. It also leaves Benavidez without a, a dance partner. Kind of. Benavidez um, d does have a fight coming up against uh, David Morrell. Uh, that, that was announced uh, about 10 days ago. So that one, take care of business there. And so maybe Bivol gets the winner of uh, of that fight. But I, I just think now in... In terms of what's next for Bivol, I think it's a David Benavidez bout. You guys know how I like to kind of set up those kind of tournament things, right? Um, I think you kind of do this, where better Biev faces Canelo. Winner faces the winner of Bivol against um, David Benavidez. Fuck it, load one up and do a, a, a gigantic Saudi show off, off somewhere and have like the biggest main and co-main you can possibly do. And then winner faces winner, not in the same night. Although, uh, no, winner faces winner, loser faces loser, and we go about it that way. Uh, I think Benavidez, it is just time for him to get a big opponent, and Bivol has shown that he does not mind being the big opponent for people, and I, I think that would be a very intriguing fight. And so, in the act of fairness, does any of that make sense? No. If we were being fair, and quite frankly, treating undisputed, unified, heavyweight, or light heavyweight, whatever, championships the way that they are kind of supposed to be, then this would be better Biev against the winner of Morel against uh, Benavidez, and you'd go Canelo against Bivol rematch. And you know what? Not a bad plan B. But I just think that better Biev coming off of the biggest win of his career, biggest payday of his career, would like another big one, and there is no bigger fight in the sport for him right now, or for almost anyone, than a fight against Canelo Alvarez.